Hello, everyone. I'm very happy to be able to talk about collagen peptide to you. I would like to express my thanks to Nita Zerachin Incorporated for inviting me to speak here. My name is Hiroshimano from Josai University, Saitama, Japan. Today, I would like to talk about function and molecular mechanisms of proril hydroxyproline in bone formation. I have divided my presentation into three parts. First, I will talk about background of collagen peptide and active collagen G peptide, proril hydroxyproline and hydroxyproline glycine. Secondly, I want to explain the expre effect of collagen peptide for sports nutrition. Then I'd like to focus on the effect of collagen peptide on bone tissues and molecular mechanisms of collagen peptide in osteoblasts. Okay, I'll start to talk about background about collagen peptide, especially collagen G peptide, proril hydroxyproline. First, I will talk about the difference between native collagen, zeratin, and collagen peptides. Collagen is a helical linear chain protein consisting of about 1,000 amino acids. Collagen is made up of three of linear chain protein in a triple helix structure. Native collagen is physically very strong, and native collagen is found in bone, cartilage, skin, and other parts in our body. Native collagen is used in cosmetics and food processing. Denaturated collagen is called zeratin. The triple helix structure is dissolved. Three-dimensional structure is altered. Zeratin dissolved in hot water very well. Zeratin is used in food processing because when zeratin was cured, it's gelled. And collagen peptides are made by breaking down the zeratin with proteolytic enzymes. Collagen peptides usually contain various sizes of peptide chains. Collagen peptides dissolved well in cold water, but not gel. The most important collagen peptide property is its strong biological activity. They are used as dietary supplement materials. This slide shows the A1 subunits of human type 1 collagen. P represents proline, O represents hydroxyproline, and G represents glycine. Core 1A1 consists of about 1,000 amino acids. When proline and proline are linked, the back position of proline is hydrolyzed to hydroxyproline by proline hydroxylase. In this slide, proline hydroxyproline is shown in red color and hydroxyproline glycine is green color. Hydroxyproline is a special amino acid. Its, pro its peptide bond is very difficult to hydrolyze by protease. Oligopeptides contain proril hydroxyproline and hydroxyproline glycine are called as active collagen oligopeptide. We call ACOP. ACOP is biological bioactive collagen peptide precursor because it is reported that proril hydroxyproline and hydroxyproline glycine has strong bioactivity. This slide shows collagen peptide metabolism in the body. The left panel shows exogenous collagen peptide. Normally, proril hydroxyproline and hydroxyproline glycine are present in the but only in 0.1 micromolar order. However, it has been reported that when about 10 grams of collagen peptide is orally ingested, it is rapidly transferred into the blood in the, in the order of several micromolar in one hour. Also, after oral ingestion of collagen peptide, collagen dipeptide and Tripeptides such as proril hydroxyproline glycine, proril proline, and glycyl proril hydroxyproline can be detected in the blood. 
the light panel showed the endogenous collagen peptide. As shown on the left, collagen G peptide of 0.1 micromolar order uh, observed in human blood even under normal conditions. We believe that these collagen dipeptide are generated by metabolism in the body. For example, in bone tissue, collagen is synthesized by osteoblasts, and collagen is degraded by osteoclasts using proteases such as catepsin K and matrix metal proteinase. Collagen peptides are produced by osteoclasts in bone tissues. Moreover, we predict the collagen peptide produced by osteoclasts is one of the bone coupling factors. Bone coupling factors are thought to be bone metabolism regulator. This slide shows change of collagen peptide in urine from running team students after training. This study is supported by members of the Josai University's men's running team. These, these athletes train at light jog for one hour every morning. Before and after training, urine was collected and ACOP was measured by ELISA, and hydroxyproline and hydroxyproline were measured by lc masmas method. As you can see, ACOP, hydroxyproline and hydroxyproline are decreased after training in athletes. These data suggest that collagen peptides are used in the body through exercise. So this slide shows the effect of collagen peptide on knee pain in running team students. The member of the Josa University's men's running team was divided into two groups, collagen peptide group and placebo group. Five grams of collagen peptide or placebo dextrin was taken daily for four weeks. Upper panel, the JCOM score is a numerical value obtained by asking them to answer a question about leg and foot pain. As you can see, total score pain condition were reduced in the collagen peptide intake group compared to the placebo group. Lower panel, the, these, are not these are not significant difference between the two groups to inflammatory markers in the blood. On the other hand, a muscle degradation marker, 3 methylhistogen increased in the placebo group, but it did not change in the collagen peptide intake groups. This data suggests that daily collagen peptide intake improved leg pain in the long-distance runners. So this slide shows the effect of collagen peptide on bone and cartilage in experimental animals. In order to cause damage to joint tissue, the mouse was fed a high hospitalized diet. We examined the effect of collagen peptide on joint damage in the mouse. Uh, clean cartilage and bone tissues could be observed in the normal group. On the other hand, the joints of mice fed a high hospitalized diet, decrease in cartilage and bone tissues. The cartilage and bone tissues were improved by collagen peptide or prolyhydroxyproline intake in the mouse fed a high hospitalized diet. Since the hydroxyproline experiment was not carried out at this time, we again examined the effect of hydroxyproline sorry, effect of hydroxyproline greasing on bone and cartilage. So this slide shows that effect of hydroxyproline and hydroxyproline greasing on bone tissues in the hospitalized excess mice. As you can see, bone and cartilage tissue were damaged by high-dose hospitalized intake. This damage was also improved by hydroxyproline as well as hydroxyproline greasing intake. 
these data shows that Kragen peptide and proryl hydroxychlorine and hydroxychloryl glycine improve joint tissue in the phosphorus excess mice. So Kragen peptide, especially proryl hydroxychloroquine induced bone formation, but the molecular mechanism was unknown. Bone formation is induced either by activation of osteoblast or inactivation of osteoclasts. First, we studied the effect of proryl hydroxychloroquine on osteoblast differentiation. In addition, we focused on osteoblast master gene lanx 2 and we use osteoblastic cell line MC3T3E1 cells. This slide shows the effect of proryl hydroxychloroquine on osteoblastic differentiation. Left panel, active staining repairs that proryl hydroxychloroquine induce alkali hospitals ALP activity. ALP is one of the osteoblast differentiation markers. Center panel, proryl hydroxychloroquine induce calcification in MC3T3E1 cells. Calcification was demonstrated by bone cost sustaining. Finally, light panel. RNA from MC3T3E1 cells treated with proryl hydroxychloroquine was collected, and mRNA levels were measured by real time PCR. Proryl hydroxychloroquine induced code 1A1 and rank 2 gene expression levels in those dependent manner. These data show that osteoblast master gene rank 2 was regulated by proryl hydroxychloroquine in order to activate osteoblast differentiation. We analyzed the molecular mechanisms by which proryl hydroxychloroquine induce rank 2 gene expression. This slide shows that rank Fox G1 is required for the gene regulation of rank 2 by proryl hydroxychloroquine. Our preliminary experiments led us to focus on Fox G1 in osteoblasts. Fox G1 is a DNA binding protein belong to the fork head box Fox G family and it is known to regulate the gene expression of various genes. On the left panel, siRNA based knockout experiment was performed in MC3T3E1. As you can see, proryl hydroxychloroquine induced rank 2 messenger RNA in the control siRNA transfected cells, but, it, but in FOXG1 knockdown cells, Proryl hydroxychloroquine could not induce rank 2 mRNA expression. Light panel. Proryl hydroxychloroquine induced alkali hospitalized activity in control siRNA transfected MC3T3E1. However, proryl hydroxychloroquine did not induce alkali hospitalized activity in FOXG1 siRNA transfected MC3T3E1 cells. In other words, FOXG1 is essential for the activation of osteoblast differentiation by proryl hydroxychloroquine. This slide shows the mechanism of proryl hydroxychloroquine uptake into osteoblast. Upper panel, we use RT-PCR technique to confirm messenger RNA expression of SLC15A1, A2, A3, and A4 which are widely known to be present in various cells. These data indicate that only SLC15A4 is expressed in MC3T3E1 cells. Lower panel, in all cells, the nuclei are stained with lead by uranium. Green FITC label, labeled proryl hydroxychloroquine strongly stained the cytoplasm in the control, my, control cells. Similar results were obtained with addition of glycine. On the other hand, the addition of the SLC, SLC50A4 inhibitor histidine decreased green color. Furthermore, 
No green fluorescence was observed in SLC15A4 knockdown cells. These results showed that in MC3T3E1 osteoblast cells, proline hydroxychlorine is taken up into the cell via SLC15A4 pepsidin histidine transporter 1. This slide shows that proline hydroxychlorine binds to FOXG1 protein specifically. In this experiment, bees with a proline hydroxychlorine glycine sequence linked five times are applied to cell extract. And protein binding to proline hydroxychlorine glycine were purified and detected by Western protein using FOXG1 antibody. In addition, a competitive assay was performed with addition of excess amounts of several dipeptide. Upper panel, the band disappeared with excess amount of proline hydroxychlorine completely. It indicates that proline hydroxychlorine binds specifically to FOXG1 protein. Center panel, excess amount of proline proline slightly eliminates the FOXG1 bands. It indicates that proline proline weakly binds to FOXG1. Lower panel, hydroxyproline glycine did not eliminate the FOXG1 binding. It indicates that hydroxyproline glycine does not bind to FOXG1. This data shows that proline hydroxyproline specifically bind to FOXG1 protein. This slide shows which domain of FOXG1 protein bind to FOXG1. Proline hydroxyproline. We use genetic recombination technique to synthesize the FOXG1 protein. The FOXG1 protein was divided into four domains A, B, C, and D. Next, we examine these recombinant protein bind to the proline hydroxyproline glycine beads. As you can see, we found that proline hydroxyproline bind to the A and B domain of FOXG1 protein, lane 3 and 6. However, proline hydroxyproline did not bind to the C and D domain, lane 9 and 12. We clarified that proline hydroxyproline bind to A and B domain of the FOXG1 protein. The A and B domain have been reported to bind as a transcription factor and to be involved in transcription regulation. We speculate proline hydroxyproline may regulate transcription activity of FOXG1 to activate lang 2 gene expression. We examine whether the binding of proline hydroxyproline to FOXG1 is involved in the lang 2 gene regulation. This slide shows that result of Lucifer's reporter assay for the presence of proline hydroxyproline response L sequence in the P1 promoter of Lang's genes. Approximately one minus 1,000 base pair of mouse Lang's 2 P1 promoter was cloned, and further dilution mutants were generated. This fragment was recombinant recombinated into Lucifer's vectors. Transfer, transferred, transfected into MC3T3E1 cells, culture with presence or absence of proline hydroxychlorine, and, the, and then performed to uh, Lucifer's assay. Upper panel. Induction of proline hydroxychlorine is observed in the minus 500 base pair and minus 375 base pair, but not minus 250 base pair. These results suggest a possible proline hydroxyproline responsive sequence exists, exists between minus 500 and minus 250 base pair of lang 2 P1 promoter. We look at this sequence. We found two typical FOX family core binding site at minus 364 and minus 332 base pair of Lang2P1 promoter. 
we regrowed from minus 375 to minus 360 base pair and also constructed a reporter plasmid with point mutation of Fox family core binding site. These plasmids were also transfected and the Shipera's assay were performed at difficult, different concentration of uh, proline hydroxyproline. Lower panel. In the wild type of uh, wild type, proline hydroxyproline increased transcription activity. However, M1 mutation, the Fox core binding site at uh, minus 365 base pair was not induced transcriptional activity at any concentration of proline hydroxyproline. On the other hand, M2, which mutated the Fox core binding site at minus 332 base pair, was induced by proline hydroxyproline. Also, double mutation was not induced. These data suggest that the AAAC -A -A sequence at minus 365 base pair on the ranks 2 P1 promoter may be the proline hydroxyproline responsive elements. This slide shows the result of immunochromatin precipitation chip assay. We examined whether Fox G1 binding directly to ranks 2 gene P1 promoter in a uh, proline dependent manner. After culturing MC3T3 E1 cells in the presence or absence of proline in the chromatin was recovered using antibodies. And real-time PCR was performed with the primer set of the ranks 2 P1 promoter. Left panel, as you can see, no induction by proline hydroxyproline was observed with the control IgZ antibody. However, light panel. When immunoprecipitation was performed with Fox G1 antibody, induction by proline hydroxyproline was clearly detected. This data directly indicates that Fox G1 binds to a proline hydroxyproline dependent manner at the sequence of the P1 promoter of lanx 2 gene. We conclude this sequence is proline hydroxyproline responsive sequence in lanx 2 P1 promoter. Summary slide. At first, collagen peptide in body may be used by the body through exercise. Furthermore, Oral intake of collagen peptide reduces leg and foot pain in the runner. Oral intake of collagen peptide, proline hydroxyproline, hydroxyproline glycine improve bone and cartilage joint damage in experimental mice. Finally, we have revealed the molecular mechanism of by the by which proline hydroxyproline improve bone tissue. Proline hydroxyproline is incorporated into osteoblasts via one of peptide transporter SLC15A4. Intracellularly incorporated proline hydroxyproline binds directly to FOXG1 protein, as shown here. Proline hydroxyproline and FOXG1 complex activate Lanx gene expression. Lanx2 is a Bone master gene, lanx 2 induce osteoblast differentiation to regulate expression of collagen and alkali phosphatase. Today, I explain function and molecular mechanisms of uh, one of the collagen peptide proline hydroxyproline in bone formation. Last slide. They are the member of uh, our laboratory. In particular, Dr. Nakatani, Dr. Kimira, Dr. Osawa, and Dr. Nomura worked very hard in this research for this presentation. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.